Hot tip, if you get a thief on you, you can run it back into a hallway and get another enemy to come up behind you and get a trap there. So now when it steals from me, it has nowhere to run. And then I can also drop this corrosion back here and just let them both sit in there and get stuck in it. Oh, what happened? They switched spots? No way. So the skeleton came up and the thief went down and they swapped spots. So I lied. It got, it's still getting away. But is it though? Because I'm going to just throw more corrosion down in the wall there, the door. And hopefully it'll die. The skeleton explodes and hits it, hits it as well. I don't want to go in the corrosion, but losing sight of it for too many turns will have it get away from me. Okay, it died in the distance. Great, we got it. Oh, hey, welcome back. This is part three of the Berserker run where we do nothing synergistic with Berserker or even synergistic with itself. We have haste for attacking faster, but we have no weapons that we're really attacking with. We're actually using a wand. So, and we have the gonna go Berserker which benefits from being hit and taking damage, but we're never really going to get hit because we're going to be running away using the wand. Maybe we'll get hit a little bit. I'm not sure. We'll see, but here we go. Let's get into it. We are back here on floor seven. We have a little bit more exploration to do. We're on our last porch, so hopefully we can find another one. We haven't found one already for this floor. There should be one somewhere. So notice this little black square. Sometimes I can hide stuff, so watch out for those. Easy to miss little corners sometimes. Okay, we got some fishies. I would rather not use invisibility potion. It's really nice to turn into its exotic form against the uh, for the next boss coming up here, Tengu, because then Tengu can't hit you with any of uh, his shurikens. And I don't remember which potion, unfortunately, I picked up here on this floor. So, so I always double check here and see if I have figured out invisibility yet. No, I have not. So there's a good chance one of these is. Maybe I'll go back and watch. From yesterday or the day before and see if i picked one up yet okay so you are blazing i'll go with the shuriken because it's a free hit it doesn't take a turn and then i'm gonna shoot one maybe one ahead of it and probably just run away this guy's gonna blow up when he dies pass here i think that's good enough yeah nice oh let lit that door on fire look at that it's a mess of corrosion gas and corrosive gas and burning not somewhere we want to be. Passing these turns, letting this gas go away. Get our shuriken back. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Wait for this to identify, because I'm probably going to want to put sharpshooting back on. But we'll find out soon. Okay, so unfortunately these don't do us any good. These are the garden rooms. When we have barren lands on, they don't really do us any good. And I guess it's just figuring out what invisibility is and getting whatever's in that chest. So it's probably worth doing. Um... What do I do, huh? Just drink some potions. Problem is liquid flame. We don't have water nearby. So, oh, that door is open. Does that mean there's an enemy in there or did I just forgot to close it? Could be an enemy. Okay, so if we drink liquid flame, we're going to have to like run up quick in the water. <laughs> well, hopefully, okay, our food will burn. That's about it. I'll go with Jade first. I wish I had a intuition stone here, but I don't. Let's drink the jade. It's probably is the most recent one. What is it? Okay, mind vision. Not too bad. Oh, look, we found a hidden room because of the mind vision. Nice. There's a bee in there. So the door is probably going to be here or up here because I'm pretty sure I read that door. Hidden doors are never in hallways. So if it's like a one by one type thing, that's kind of fun. Okay. And let's just keep drinking them down. Silver, what are you? Hey, there's invisibility. Nice. Would we win? We won some size. Wah wah. <laughs> so let's check down. What's the closest? I'll check down here first. Ooh, okay. So when you trigger a gas trap, I feel like it's best to go to Agnel. Because look, this has gas. This has gas, but Agnel doesn't. So let's see. Yeah, we don't take any damage if we go diagonal. Nice. So that's something we should keep in mind with our corrosive wand. Like... Shoot it ahead, not diagonal of enemies. Okay, so let's try up here. Okay, great. Maybe we can get them both at once. So shoot it right on it, and its buddy's also going to walk into it. Shoot one, like, right ahead, right here as well. Yeah, you guys are going to blow up. Nice, nice. Love that. Let's wait for this gas to go away, and then we'll arc back around. Oh, there's a door opened over there. Yeah, it'd be nice if a creature came and just walked into this gas and died. Gave us some free experience. I would take it. 
would not complain about that. Alrighty. There it is. And we got the B in there. Hmm. I don't really want to, you know, fight the B directly, so I think I'll just oh corrosion and runaway technique. And it, it's gonna actually sit there because the B won't go far away from the uh honey pot. And that'll be nice to make a honeyed healing out of that uh, busted pot there. Well, it looks like we're about done with this floor. Moving on to floor eight. We are going to be torchless for a little while here, unfortunately. I should um, pop this on here. Maybe I make it a blind weed, a blind dart. We'll see. Okay, mage, one maker, what you want? Fresh embers. We can do that. So these will actually be really good against the uh, elemental. I'm pretty sure it's against the fire elemental. Oh, there's a mimic. Tell the buckles above it. Not much of a shadow. And of course, after t a little bit of time, it moves. That animation doesn't happen right away, though. So that's the thing with the mimics. Like if you just run immediately and get after it, you'll get you'll get surprised. So we'll see right there yeah i might as well just go ahead and pop with corrosion because we have plenty of time to run away i think well it looks like we'll take a hit here just drop one more corrosion and then we'll run away that should kill it right yeah good Ooh, a ring no oh another really geez another attack speed ring we don't know if it's curse or not but we do have a remove curse girl so we could try it on but let's figure out what this opal one is first it's taken a long time to identify gee Kind of annoying. Torch, please. It's actually really easy to tell with the buckles on the top or the bottom. I'm getting used to just seeing that pretty quickly. Okay, upgrade scroll. We could just keep on throwing it in the corrosion. I think I'm going to. So this run, I think, is going to be a hodgepodge. I'm going to get this to like plus eight because then it's ten charges. And after that, the upgrades aren't as efficient. It does more damage, but you don't get more charges. So ten to ten charges is max. I think I'll just do that, and then, I don't know, we'll go into something else. Whether item or equipment we have. I keep going around it, but actually you can go over it, because it's not a mimic. If it was a mimic, you wouldn't be able to walk over it. Anyways, torch please. I feel pretty vulnerable without a torch. There could be enemies down there already after me, so it's a bit risky to walk up. I'm going to do it anyways. Risk taking. Okay, key. Okay, one of these gold rooms. Okay, we're starving. Pretty used to being starving. Hmm. Hey, there's a there's a torch. I almost don't want to use it because we're like so far through the dungeon already. But I'm glad I did because look at you. You're gonna pull me into here, and make a big old mess of everything. Let's not have that happen. Let's maybe back up. I want to open this door and hopefully they won't see me. Let's open it with like you. Okay, so you saw me. Let's blind it. Here we go. Blind. There is meat in your eye. So you're blinded and now we can corrosion you. And blind is only one turn left. So that should be this turn. And then now I can get behind the door safely. And, ooh, something died to the corrosion. I don't know what it was. I'm looking to see if any of these doors open. I'll shoot some corrosion. Actually, let's just get, like, straight on. Just shoot some down here. Why not? There were all kinds of enemies down there, so let's just drop some in there. Right in the middle, maybe. Ooh, trap. Ooh, okay. Getting shot. Let's drop some like right in here because I know this guy's coming up after us. Yeah, so the quickest way out of line of sight of this guy might be over here. We're our meat in the air is still on cooldown, so okay. Oh, it died. Noise just drop Kroge on you and run away. Noise doing pretty good. Oh, wow, look at you. Nice. <laughs> Talent points, I'm not totally sure yet. Probably this one. 
I don't know, probably this one. I'll think about it some more. Oops, close this door. Just let this come in. So we can beat this with melee. Oh, you know what? I don't know if this is plus one yet. So since I only have 13 strength, right? Let's watch our turn timer here. If we do a full rotation or more. Ooh, that looked like more. Definitely more. So this is not plus one. Okay. Let's try this one on. I don't think this is going to do too much damage to us. So let's see if this does a full rotation. Definitely more. So none of these are plus one. Bummer. And I sold my other. <laughs> I sold my 12 strength weapon. So I guess I'm just stuck with it. We could try the Scion. The Psy, since it's a fast weapon though, is a bit deceiving. You can't really tell. Oh, and I also have this weird fur stuff going on. So it's actually kind of hard to tell by just looking at the turn timer alone. <laughs> Essentially what I'm thinking is like, Oh, this is going to be really fast. So this is an element string. Okay, not too bad. But I would rather probably use one of these. Put this one on. <laughs> so this is just going to be like the super fast attack build. Okay. It's kind of funny. Put this on over. Oops. Go ahead and equip this over elements. Oh, it was cursed. Bummer. Oh, well. Got this for. Candles. Oh, we've got the two golden keys. We could go back for that. But let's just try and be more efficient and just go back on the way. Three golden. So, I mean, three crystal. Oops. So that means it's the room with all the uh, consumables. And candles. Do we have four yet? Three candles. Yeah. Missing a candle. Oh, okay. So. Meet in your eye, mind you. Stop myself from getting a hold in by his chains. And then we have just one turn to get out of line of sight. So then we get over here and get back. We drop another corrosion right here. Then close the door so the corrosion doesn't come in. And we're feeling pretty clever. And they both die in the distance. Beautiful. And look at us. We think we're so smart. Let's see what's behind here. Oh, there's the torch. Oh, and our inventory is full. Mm, bummer. It's okay. When inventory fills up, the play is to look for a pit and start chucking stuff down. That gives us our meat. So I'll go. To, ooh, I saw that door open. Who's there? Let's go here. I closed the door behind me so I don't get shot from some random person I don't see. So elements, chuck you down. What else? Uh, shattered. It's already shattered, so we can just chuck it down. If we were to throw this one down, it would shatter. We wouldn't want that. Um, what else? You guys, get out of here. Chuck it down. There we go. We're gonna have a bunch of inventory space freed up. Yeah, sure. You can go down too. Hmm. Oh yeah, I removed the curse on this in the well. So this is probably plus one. I would like to identify it. Because if we could get it to plus three, we could use it at 14 strength, which would be one of those like nice intermediate steps. I'm just doing this so I can pull its aggro and have it come to the door for me. Or else it might not see me and I don't really want it. Oh, really? You lost track of me? Jeez. Anyways, give me my shuriken back. Ooh, another remove curse scroll. Lucky. Corrosion. Let's try it ahead of it. Oh, no. Look at you. Okay, same play. Me in your eye. You blind. No, you're... Oh, I won't get out of line of sight, will I, though? I think I need to put the talent point in here. I need one more turn of this. Yeah. Two turns remaining. So I shoot, and then I go one, and then it probably pulls me into the corrosion. We'll find out. Shoot. Oh, at least if it pulls me ahead... I'm ahead of the corrosion at least. I'll take that. I'm not getting hit by that. So I'm getting hit pretty hard. Okay. I'm going to shoot corrosion over here. So next turn it'll grow next to it. And that can let me like run away. Because I'm crippled. So I'm not going to be able to get too far away from the corrosion. Now we can shoot it right on it. And we can walk away. There we go. Oh, why is it down here? Oh no. Okay, that's probably health potion territory, huh? 
fucking bummer. But yeah, I gotta do it. How many do I have? Five. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on health potions. Let's just drink it here. Get our torch. Really, another one? At least it can't hit me, and I can just shoot corrosion here, and then I can, like, get out around the corner. And that should mostly kill it. Where is it? I didn't even see where it went. Okay, torch A. There's our strength. Noise, noise. Yeah, so if we wanted to do like a mix and match build, we could throw like one upgrade on here and then put our our scroll on it. I mean, our seal on it. And I could maybe get it. I think it's plus one. So that could maybe get it down to 14. And then we would be like, it's kind of like... Our end game build is going to be a lot weaker, but everything up until then is going to be stronger. A little trick here. I'm going to like pull this guy up. Oops. You didn't follow me up. Dang. So I'm going to actually drop this so it doesn't steal it and break it. Stole the sharpshooting ring. That's fine. Just going to go ahead and shoot the corrosion in the way it's walking. Let's shoot it like right here. I'll pick this up now. Light a torch so I can see it, or else it's going to get away. Okay, nice. Maybe we need to eat some food. Let's go with the ration here. I think once we get out of the uh, prisons, the corrosion will be even better. Because, yeah, the um, the prison guards are a bit of a... Kind of a hard counter. You know, the way they pull you in. So you really have to be careful how you use it. Maybe if I shoot it here, I can get a lot of... It's off it here. Seven. One more. Is that all I need? Oh, look. I forgot where we are. Then it just sits in the corrosion. <laughs> That's That could work really well with like a camouflage glyph or being able to go invisible or something. They just stand there. I'm just going to keep exploring even though we have all four. Jeez, it's a big floor. It's another big floor. I mean, okay, it's on the way back to the stairs. So And we have to go back and talk to the mage anyways. So... I'll just keep exploring while we're here. Anything? Weird dead end. Okay, fine. Not really looking for hidden doors at this point. Okay, teleported. <laughs> Great. So, let's do it, and then we'll go back to the mage, and then we'll go up here. This probably goes up and around, is what I'm guessing. Um, corrosion and just run away, I think. Is this going to sit there and summon? So it's going to take a lot of damage. And if we keep running away, this will blow up when that guy dies and we we'll, won't be next to it. That's the plan for that. Let's go ahead and get these treasure chests while we're here. Okay, that's nice. I don't, have a, I don't think we have an artifact yet. Could be cursed. We do have a scroll, so I'm willing to risk it for this biscuit. Nice. Let's go ahead and hotkey that here. Okay. Oh, really, thief? Again, again with the thieves. <laughs> so I'm going to pull it out here just so when it runs away, I will be able to keep my eye on it. And then I'll shoot the corrosion like this way because, you know, it's going to steal and run away. I'm going to drop my honey pot because I really don't want to lose it. There you go. It's still an onk for me. Good. But have an onk. Enjoy it. See how much corrosion we need to actually make. Probably not. Just one shot's good enough. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyways, I wanted to go here. I think a whole extra turn is actually gonna be really nice. And then um, I don't. I'm still not sure yet. This is okay. This is this can be really good depending if we get the horn of plenty. That just becomes super duper good. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what wand we get. I'm look, looking forward to getting a good wand here. Uh, it's good to be in the water when we're fighting this guy for sure. And where else? Might be good to be... Um, this is probably fine, actually. Okay, let's throw him. Love this music. It's just when the music shifts like that, you know, like something. You know it's on. You know it's on. Um, okay. I think we do the corrosion first. Right in the middle. And then we'll throw the last one here. 
spawn it, it immediately takes frozen damage. Then we go ahead with the chilling darts. Does double damage. Nice. And it's dead. Got it. Got it. Nice. All right, let's let this corrosion die down and pick up our dart and then go to the mage wand maker and uh, see what we won. Get our reward. Let's go probably this way. Oh, okay, sure, that way. That way's fine. <laughs> oh, it didn't see us. But I almost would rather kill it if we get a chance while we get the jump on it, you know, rather than it like surprising us from around like a corner somewhere. Uh, you know what though? It's probably just gonna keep running away. Uh, that sucks. It got away. Oh well. Does corrosion spread further when it's upgraded? I thought it just did more damage. I didn't think it spread further or lasted longer. Okay, there you are now. So we can actually shoot it here and then we will get around this corner in time. Nice. And if we want to be... Mm, that's too clever, I think. Ooh, look at that. It lost track of us and wasted a turn just standing still where it got more courage. Wow, plus one. <laughs> Jeez, it's ridiculous. Oops. Misclick and went too far away. So plus one, plus three speed with a sigh, which is very fast already. <laughs> Okay, this is like the uh, Talladega Knights, like, gotta go fast, run. What? We're not even using it, because we don't... We... I mean, we could transition, so okay. We go, like, plus eight into here, and then we put the rest into the side, but we never really want to be in melee if we're not going into armor as well. Okay, and we get regrowth. Okay, that's going to be so good, because we're going to now root them in place, and then we're going to corrosion them. The, uh, the other option here is transfusion, which isn't very good at all, in my opinion. Here we go, and it's a plus one. Okay, beautiful. What a combo. What a combo indeed. Well, it's a good place to stop, and we'll pick up uh, next time. Thanks for watching, and Rat Punchers, you know what to do. Keep on punching on!